welcome wanderers to an adventure like no other. Are you ready to dive into the enchanting realm of February travel? From the vibrant streets of New Orleans to the majestic landscapes of Norway, we're about to embark on a journey that promises thrills, wonders, and memories to last a lifetime. But before we set sail, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more exciting content, and share this journey with your fellow explorers. Let's make this voyage one to remember. Number 10. New Orleans, United States. For the biggest of parties in the home of good times, Old World streets decked out in green, purple and gold announce the arrival of Mardi Gras in New Orleans. The two weeks leading up to Shrove Tuesday see a crescendo of parades and parties by crews, with lots of floats, jazz and body paint. It's a busy time to visit, but much less humid than in Louisiana's summer months. You'll find a more local vibe to Mardi Gras away from the heritage facades and tourist traps of the French Quarter. Henry Howard Hotel is a townhouse dating from 1867 with a classical colonnade and park contemporary design one block back from a big parade route along Stee Charles Avenue. Number 9. Lofoten Islands, Norway, for a meeting of land and sea under the aurora. It takes only three months for the Lofoten Islands, above the Arctic Circle, to catch their first glimpse of the midnight sun after many weeks of 24-hour night or twilight, and February sits in the middle of the period when it all starts to shift. This is the month to balance having enough darkness to hope for a sighting of the northern lights, with at least a few hours of sun to light up these majestic islands where mountain ranges meet the ocean. A highway threads along the chain as far as the concisely named village of AI, passing old fishing settlements where wooden cabins perch on stilts at the water's edge. Get a taste of a fisherman's life in the days of old Norway by staying in one of the 38 cabins at Svinoya Rorbua in the town of Svolvea. Number 8. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, for samba and sequins in a spectacularly set city. While the pre-Lenten carnival season is generally chilly in its European home, in Brazil the revelry happens at the height of summer. It's a favorite Brazilian holiday time, despite bursts of rain in much of the country Apart from the northeast, where Salvador and Recife have their own proud carnival traditions. If you're looking for bucket list spectacle, Rio de Janeiro's show tops the bill. Whether you score a ticket to watch the dazzling parade in the 90,000 seat Sambadrome or join in with the beating of drums at neighborhood parties, watched over by Sugarloaf Mountain and the Statue of Christ, the Redeemer. Number 7. Quebec, Canada. It's the second coldest month of the year in Quebec, but the province's inhabitants are ready to party. In the capital, Quebec City, the winter carnival runs over 10 days, usually in early February, and features parades, snow sculptures, and winter sports such as ice canoeing. Overlapping with this, La Poutine Week glorifies the national dish of Canada chips, cheese curds, and gravy in a festival that began in Montreal and has spread nationwide. Outside the cities, now is also the season for skiing in resorts such as Mont Tremblant. Quebec City's landmark par excellence since 1893, the Fairmont liege tau frontenac looks even more splendid with snow on its turrets. It's possibly the world's most photographed hotel. Number 6. Venice, Italy, for costumes and masquerades. For two weeks each February, Venice comes alive for carnival season. There are free and ticketed events throughout the city, ranging from concerts and operas to acrobatic performances and treasure hunts. At the center of the action is Piazza San Marco, where there are daily costume shows. For visitors, getting into the spirit of things means dressing up in elaborate costumes and masks both are available to hire. Though expect prices to be steep, and if you're planning to attend one of the balls, plan well ahead. For some respite, away from the action, stay at the JW Marriott Venice Resort and Spa. 
which sits on its own private island and has shuttles to the mainland. Number 5. Vienna, Austria. For a city break without the crowds. With temperatures still around a chilly zero, February is not the most obvious time of the year to visit Vienna, nor is it the most popular. But that's the whole point. You get to enjoy this beauty of a Baroque capital without all the crowds. Even better, the coffee houses it's famous for are perfect for escaping the cold, while its world-class museums will provide plenty to see. For those who want to enjoy a taste of the high life, February is also the tail end of the ball season, with events held in the City Hall, the Vienna State Opera, and even in the Hofburg Palace. The Amaris Vienna is a gorgeous relays, an H2 tow property just down the road from the Opera House. Number 4. Puntarinas, Costa Rica. For rainforest wildlife and unspoiled sandy beaches, Central America's ecotourism star gets tropical downpours throughout the year in most places. But if you're on the Pacific coast, February is a drier time, but less so than January or Easter. Punta Arenas province covers most of Costa Rica's western shore, including the tip of the Nicoya Peninsula, with relaxed beach vibes around the town of Montezuma, and further along, two of the country's top national parks, Manuel Antonio and more remote but stunning Corcado on the Osa Peninsula. Between Manuel Antonio and Corcovado National Parks, Oxygen Jungle Villas has ocean views from the infinity pool in its green hillside perch and a Balinese-inspired vibe. Number 3. Valletta, Malta. For parade floats in a superb fortress city on the Met, the week before Ash Wednesday brings out the crowds in what is otherwise Malta's low season for carnival celebrations across the Mediterranean island nation. Small but rich in historic sites, capital Valletta is the center of the action, with larger-than-life floats featuring colorful and often satirical figures and dancers in equally eye-popping get-up. Other festivities include the Nador Carnival in Gozo, with more macabre themes. Costumed merriment aside, it's a mild time in Malta, with temperatures around the low teens. Not exactly beach weather, but a fine choice for some winter sun while staying in Europe. By the waterfront in Senglia, one of the three cities across from Valletta, the Cugo Gran Machina Grand Harbour, has 21 suavely contemporary suites inside a 16th century bastion. Number 2. Koh Samui, Thailand. For a later start to perfect beach weather, Koh Samui and its neighboring islands in the southern Gulf of Thailand are at their driest in February, after a short but intense wet season from October to December. You'll find some of the biggest full moon parties on the island of Koh Phe Ngan, while the northeast of this jungle clad island is quieter, as is smaller Koh Tao to the north, best for diving and snorkeling. Koh Samui itself is a gateway to Thailand's second largest island after Phuket, so there's plenty of variety in its beaches, activities, and hotels. All villa accommodation on a small private island just off the northeast shore of Koh Samui makes Cape Phan Hotel a luxurious choice. Number 1. Baja California, Mexico. For extraordinary wildlife encounters, this is a generally dry and slightly cooler time of year across Mexico. Winter sun aside, the best reason to visit in February is to catch some incredible animal migrations. Millions of monarch butterflies are getting ready to fly north after their winter stay in the forested mountains of the Micoacan Mexico state border. And in the lagoons on the coast of Beja, California, gray whales come right up to visitor boats in some of the world's most well-managed wildlife encounters. You'll find both high-end resorts and abundant nature reserves along this 700-mile peninsula. In the Beja Sur town of Loreto, which is often a base for whale-watching trips, La Mission Loreto Hotel is a modern outpost with hacienda-style touches, right on the shore of the Gulf of California. As February unfolds, these diverse destinations 
beckon travelers with their array of experiences and attractions. Whether you find yourself amidst the lively rhythms of Rio de Janeiro's carnival or marveling at the serene landscapes of Beja, California, each destination leaves an indelible mark on the soul. From the depths of winter wonderlands to the warmth of tropical shores, February invites us to venture forth and discover the magic that awaits in every corner of the globe. 